Good morning. Welcome, everyone. I'm Carolyn, your host. Welcome to this week's weekly mini, your bite-sized tutorial on the hottest acro topics. You can reference all of our previous weekly minis and more amazing content on our Acrobatic Arts channel on YouTube. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer those for you at the end. If you know someone who should hear about today's topic, be a friend and click the share button on this post right now and let them know we're here. Today, we are pleased to present you a bite-sized tutorial from Master Teacher and our resident Acrodance preschool expert, Loren Dermody, on developing strength in your preschoolers. Loren has been with Acrobatic Arts since the beginning and she continues to share her creativity and years of experience towards the growth of new programs and the expansion of the syllabus. She is an Acrobatic Arts course conductor, examiner, head of research and development for the company, as well as being the current host for the Acrobatic Arts podcast. Welcome, Loren. Thank you, Carolyn, and hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. I am excited to get started, so I will. All right, so this week's topic is developing strength with your preschoolers. Very important. Remember, we always want to coordinate the strength with the proper flexibility and the proper flexibility with the strength. So we're going to talk about four appropriate skills for your preschool age dancers that you should be working on. The first one is frog jumps, we can see right here. Then we have plank, which is great for everyone. Uh, superhero and V-sit. So let's take a look at frog jumps first. So frog jumps is a plyometric exercise and it's going to help increase the power and the speed for your young dancers. It also strengthens the thighs, the glutes and the entire lower body. Sometimes we forget that we have to think maybe five or seven years ahead and where do we want those acro dancers to be this is the start of their tumbling. So we wanna create lots of power, lots of strength, uh, distance, height in those jumps. So I'm going to play a little video for you of how you could incorporate frog jumps into your preschool dance class. We're going to do frog jumps today. So step on your mat, go down. Your knees are going to be open and your hands are in the middle. Can you put your hands in the middle? And in the middle. Okay. There you go. And we're going to stretch up and a big frog jump all the way to the end. Go. Push. Push. Good. Try to reach those arms up. And then come around to your spot. Next two step on the mat. And frog jump. Go. Push. 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 Good, come around. Very nice frog jumps. Good. Now, who knows what a frog says? Ribbit, do you think you can do your frog jump and say ribbit? Oh, hands on the inside. Oh, no, knees open. Knees open. Hands. Nope. Two hands in the middle and knees on the outside. There we go. Okay, ribbit. Good. Anna, ta -da. very nice. Good, okay, come around. Very good, frog. My next two, are you gonna say ribbit? And jump. Ribbit's good. And Spencer, are you ready? Deanna, are you ready? And go, ribbit. Good, reach those arms up. Keep going, Deanna. Very nice. High five on that one. Good job. All right, so we can see that there's many different levels, which you probably have in your classes as well but they all need to work on the strength and getting that height and distance. You know, adding the arm stretching up is, a, is an added skill for them. So, you know, depending on where they're at that day may or may not happen, 
but it's really important that they practice this skill a lot. And of course, for the young dancers, I like to hand out a coloring sheet that will remind them of the skill that they should be practicing at home. So this one is F for frog jumps and hopefully they take it home and they color and then they do frog jumps um, around their house. All right, the next skill we're going to look at is a plank. And planks basically work the whole body. So they are awesome for strength. They strengthen the spine, the rhomboids, the trapezius, and the abdominals. So really upper body is what we're looking at. And, you know, as I said, the whole body. So I can't say enough about planks. We have a little saying at Acrobatic Arts that when in doubt, plank it out. Uh, so you can keep that in mind when you're teaching your classes. And for our plank, I have a little... Um, demonstration, a little animation of what I sometimes do more with my older preschoolers, so maybe five years old, maybe even six, if they already have a nice strong plank. So first we want to make sure the technique of the plank is nice. So these hands should be pointing straight forward and parallel. We want those legs nice and tight, the heels in line with the toes, and the hips in line too. I would say this dancer could have his hips a little bit lower, but he's doing a really good job. And as long as he's squeezing and engaging all his muscles, I would say this is a good preschool plank. Now, if they are tight, you can go and sort of, you know, um, touch them from side to side and see if they'll stay still. And if they can, you can grab their legs and slowly start to lift them up. So now he's off the floor, can he still keep that nice tight position or does he lose the engagement? If he loses the engagement and becomes um, unstable, then you would put his feet back down. But if he can keep that nice uh, strong body, then you could lift him up a little higher and see if he's squeezing tight and if he can maintain that. Always keep an eye though that they are being stable if you wanna keep lifting them up because you wouldn't want their arms to give out. So if he is still good in this position, we go a little higher and then a little higher. Now for the preschool level, I usually don't get all the way to a handstand, but a great skill. And then <laughs> you can still work on engaging their whole body. Of course, I have a coloring page for them to take home. This one is H for holding their plank. And again, hopefully they color and perform the skill at home. Next, we have superhero. So superhero works the erector spinae muscles, which is basically the length of the back. And it also promotes good posture. So let's see what we have for superhero. This is our circuit. <clears throat> so you will see more than superhero. In this circuit, they each have a different station card in front of them. Uh, you can try to guess what skill they're doing, but the one in the middle at the front, that is the superhero station. So I'll play the video and you can watch how we do a circuit. This one is uh, quick for video purposes. I would normally have the preschoolers doing 10 to 15 seconds at each station. Today we're doing the station cards. So you have a station card in front of you. When it's your turn at that station card, you're going to do whatever skill is on that station card, okay? When I say switch, you move in a big circle this way and you do the next station card. And then I'll say switch again and you move to the next one until you've done all of them. Does that make sense? Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for the first one? And go. Good, what's your first one? Ball pose. That's right, good. And switch, next one. And go. Good, get those knees up, that's right. Good, tuck that head in. Stretch those feet. Stretch and switch, next. And go. Ooh, good, straight legs at the back. Get your knees up, get your knees up. And switch. Hurry Spencer, go, good. Good, hands up, hands up. And switch. Next one, and go. Good, tight legs. Good, legs together, and switch. Next, and go. Come on, we're almost back to the beginning. Good, 
and switch. And go, you're up here, Spencer. You're up here. Ball pose. And switch. One more time. Are we back to the beginning? All right, we'll stop right there. All right, so when you're doing these circuits and once your preschoolers know which direction to go, I usually play some fun music and then I say go and stop and then they change their spots. So we did see, again, different levels of our skills. We saw some really nice tabletops, which is also good for strength. Uh, so that's a fun circuit to have. And we have our superhero coloring sheet, which is X for x-ray vision in their superhero. So it's always a class favorite. So don't forget to hand that out. And we have our last skill, which is V-sit. V-sit, of course, targets the abdominal muscles and the hip flexors. It also improves the core stability. So a really important skill to have for our preschoolers. Now, for this one, I wanted to show you our a little clip of our uh, cardio time video that you can use in your preschool class or even send the link home to the parents so that they really get uh, their cardio and their strength worked on at home. Engage your core, stretch your feet, long back, yeah. work those abs, done, keep your legs straight, hold it, hold it, hold it, one last time, oh, ah, uh, here we go again. So that's a great video, as I said, you can do it in your class or send the YouTube link to your clientele so that their dancers can practice at home and come back to your studio with more cardio and more strength and you can uh, work on harder skills with them in class. And of course, I'm going to hand out a V-sit coloring page. This is V and you can see she's doing a nice job of her V-sit, she's nice and strong. And again, the purpose would be for them to take home, color, and then perform the skill at home. So those were the four skills I wanted to touch on. I hope that gave you some ideas for your class. Uh, depending on the level of your young students, there are many, many more strength skills to have fun with. We have tuck jumps, standing on one leg, baby bridge, downward dog, wall sit is a great one, tabletop, log rolls, big bridge if they're ready, rock and roll, and of course the pike handstand at the wall when they're ready and they're nice and strong. But you know what, no matter what age we are, we should all remember to work on our strength and stay strong. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Miss Loren. That was an amazing presentation. Lots of great tips um, and skills and drills for our youngest dancers to work on. I put some links inside of the um, comment section for those who wanted the coloring pages that Miss Loren has referenced, as well as the videos presented, are all included with our AcroDance um, preschool app, which is the digital syllabus. Um, so those are all available to you through that. Tons of resources as well as I put the link for cardio time. I'll include some more. Miss Lauren has created so many resources for a preschool program on the YouTube channel. There's an, uh, um, what's the word? There's a um, playlist there for you as well. So lots of great ideas, jump off points. If there are any questions, you can post those in the comments and we'll get to those following today's presentation. If you are interested in introducing acro dance at the preschool level or enhancing what you're currently doing for your youngest dancers at your studio, visit acrobaticarts.com for upcoming opportunities for our acro dance preschool certification. At this time of recording, there are I think four spots left in a November 10th and 11th course. And then there are uh, there is availability in an upcoming January course. So check that all out. We'd love to see you there. Um, and thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you teachers for joining us for this weekly mini. Join us again next week when we present Aerial Arts Division Manager Megan Wegg with a tutorial on contortion. See you then. Bye.